Hello friends. This video is brought to you by MyWayTeaching.com. Let us start with the interest. Now, interest is the extra money paid by institutions like banks or post offices on the money that is deposited by us. Interest is also paid by people when they borrow money from somebody. We will understand that there are two types of interest paid. One is simple interest. about which we have studied in the previous class and other is compound interest about which we will study in detail in this class. To study compound interest we first need to understand simple interest. To make you understand simple interest in a better manner, let me take an example. Suppose you borrow 100 rupees from your friend. And he charges you 15% per annum. Per annum means per year. Now first year, the amount that you will have to pay your friend would be 100 rupees that you had borrowed plus 15% of 100 rupees. That is 115 rupees you will have to pay. Next year, if again you are not able to pay this 100 rupees, then you will have to pay 100 rupees plus 15 rupees of the first year interest and 15 rupees for the next year interest. That means 130 rupees. Note that here we are calculating interest on the principal amount that is 100 rupees that you had borrowed. We have calculated 15% interest on 100 and for the second year also we are calculating same 15 upon 100 into 100 that is 15 rupees. So basically the principal value that we had borrowed every time on this amount we are calculating interest. To understand compound interest also, let's consider the same example in which you have borrowed 100 rupees from your friend and he will charge you 15% interest per annum. So this 100 rupees that you have borrowed will be the principal amount. Okay. Then if you return this 100 rupees, if you plan to return this 100 rupees to your friend in the first year, then you will pay, firstly the interest will be, this will be a simple interest, 15% of the principal amount, that will be 15 rupees. And so the amount to be paid would be 100 plus 15 that is equal to 115 rupees. But suppose you are not able to pay this 115 rupees first year then it, the amount that has to be paid becomes the principal for the next year. That means for second year your principal changes 
your principal is now 115 rupees and rate of interest is same 15% per annum compounded annually so rate of interest is same 15% then again if you calculate interest will be 15% of 115 which comes out to be 17 rupees 25 pesa so you see this time for the first year interest was only 15 rupees but since it is a compound interest so this for the second year the interest is on the principal of 115 rupees hence interest is increasing 17 rupees 25 pesa and now now the amount that he has to return or you have to return would be 115 plus 17.25 which is equal to 132 rupees and 25 pesa so we can notice that compound interest increases year after year and it is more than the simple interest for the same example we had simple interest 130 rupees for two years while if the interest is compounded annually the amount is 132 rupees and 25 pesa let us suppose that you are not able to pay back your friend even in the second year then for the third year principal amount will be 132 rupees and 25 pesa and rate of interest was 15% per annum compounded annually and now when we calculate interest that has to be paid it will be 15% of 132 rupees and 25 pesa which comes out to be 19 rupees 87 pesa and now the amount that has to be paid will be amount will be equal to 132 rupees 25 pesa plus 19.87 and which is equal to 152 rupees and 12 pesa so we see that each year rate of interest is rising as principal is changing while when we calculate simple interest principal remains same that means if it was simple interest that we were calculating then principal would remain 100 each year and interest will be calculated on that so interest will remain same each year but when we are talking about compound interest every year rate of interest is remaining same but principle is changing so the interest calculated is increasing to make things simpler let's study the formula for simple and compound interest first let us study the notations let capital P denote the principle that it is the amount that is borrowed or which is there in the bank let r denote the rate of interest per annum let small n denote the number of years for which the principal has been borrowed let a denote the amount that has to be returned after n number of years 
let SI denote the simple interest and CI denote the compound interest. Then first let's understand the formula for simple interest. For simple interest we write the formula is SI is equal to P into R into N whole divided by 100 and the amount will be calculated as simple interest plus the principal. Note that by using this formula we will get how much interest the person has to pay and by using this amount formula if the interest is a simple interest then how much amount he has to return. Now let us understand the formula for compound interest. If the no notations remain the same then amount is equal to principal multiplied by 1 plus R by 100 where R is the rate of interest and N is the number of years. So this formula gives us the amount if the principal is compounded annually at the rate of R percent. And from this formula we can calculate compound interest as compound interest would be the amount that we have calculated minus the principal amount the principal amount that we had borrowed if you subtract from the amount calculated we will get the compound interest that the person had to pay it's worth noticing here that rate of interest is getting compounded annually in further slides we will study what will happen if the rate doesn't compound annually maybe it compounds half yearly or quarterly sometimes when we will do the question on compound interest we will, we will come across certain terms like rate is 10% per annum compounded half yearly or rate is 15% per annum compounded quarterly in such cases we will use the same formula for the amount which was P into 1 plus R by 100 whole power N with the change that since the interest is getting compounded half yearly so what we will do is that we will change the time period that is N would be changed to 2 times N as we compute the interest two times while rate will be halved rate will be whatever R is given it will be half this is for half yearly half yearly compounding remember this is when interest is compounded half yearly
so remember that if the rate is compounded half yearly then the time period becomes twice as we will compound two times in a year while the rate will become half so rate is taken as half the annual rate similarly if the rate is compounded quarterly that means since in a year there would be four quarters the time period will be multiplied by 4 as the interest will be calculated four times in the year and the rate will be taken as 1/4 of the annual rate here it is important to understand that if we say that interest is compounded half yearly we mean that we compute the interest two times in a year while if we say that the rate is compounded quarterly that means we calculate interest four times in a year